Good evening, friends. Uh, this is the Roaming Prepper. Um, I'm a prolific reader. I may never have mentioned that on my Instagram or uh, YouTube account, but I figured you guys might enjoy getting some book reviews that I've done. So today we're going to review a new author. She's relatively new compared to John Wesley Rawls or Tom Clancy. Uh, her name is Kyla Stone. And her book, and she wrote three of them in 2020, um, it looks like 2020, called The Edge of Collapse. So, all right, so what's the deal with The Edge of Collapse? Let me, um, since we're going to do this new Wednesday book club, I'm going to read the intro. Okay, no power, no transportation or phones. The country is plunged into instant chaos. But for 26-year-old Hannah Sheridan, it's the best day of her life. For the last five years, she's been held captive by a sadistic psychopath until the EMP releases the locks of her prison. Now, that's a neat spin as the good girl or the, the heroine, if you will, is released as a result of an EMP. So this was actually a godsend for her. Hannah emerges, emerges from her underground cell into a hostile winter landscape armed with nothing but the clothes on her back and her own determination to survive. And she runs into recluser former soldier Liam Coldman. So this is an EMP book. Uh, it's along the lines of Dr. Fortune's uh, One Second After. But this particular book, um, so Miss Stone or Mrs. Stone, I think she's a Mrs., uh, yeah, I think she's Mrs. Stone. So her character development going through this book, I just finished the first one and I'm going to tell you right now, I bought the second one. The book was pretty good. It's a fun read. Now, she's not a technical writer. And when I say that, I, let me let me caveat that. She is technical, but she's not technical to an engineer who reads Tom Clancy, where Tom Clancy's getting into circuit boards and the frequency of radars. However, she does touch on the basics of prepping, the basics of survival in the snow. She obviously has done her research or she's experienced it herself. I suspect a little of both. Um, the main character, Hannah, who is, who is kidnapped by the psychopath, and there's a whole backstory to that. And then uh, Hannah is released when the EMP strikes, the locks release, and here she is in this house in the middle of nowhere, and she's free. Um, what she grabs from the cabin, trying to make her escape, the techniques she uses in snow, trying to flee the danger. Um, then she meets Liam. Uh, uh, Kyla did her homework. Now, again, not a technical writer, but... Her character development is phenomenal. I think it's uh, she beats Florston and even John Wesley Rawls, who is very uh, cinematic and, and technical in his writing. He didn't get into the the some of the deeper character and in particular dealing with a soldier that has PTSD and the heroine, the, the, the lady who is a abuse victim, an abduction and rape victim. Um, she did a hell of a job. And to me, it kind of struck me personally, because in reality, I've in my life as a soldier and as a family man, I've dealt with both people in my circle who have been victims of domestic or, or other abuse, females. And I've also dealt with uh, military individuals who've come home with issues and she hit the nail on the head she did a really good job on her character development but her technical writing is not subpar at all i'm not taking anything from that again if you're looking for really you know the 55 items in the bug out bag that's uh, uh professor florstein that's a john wesley rawls read if you're looking for the impact of the characters and their reaction to different scenarios and how how the trauma, the PTSD of these two characters interact. Um, I think Miss Stone hit the nail on the head. Uh, she did a really good job. It was a fun read. It was an easy read. She didn't get 
overly obnoxious with her wording, but it gets the point. She paints really good pictures. I'm in chapter two of the subsequent book, which I believe is Edge of Madness. And um, I got to tell you, I read chapter one and two, and I got halfway through two, and I had to read through four because it was bugging me what, what the hell was going to happen. She's done a good job on her character. Um, she has the fundamentals of the actual equipment and techniques. Miss um, Stone did her homework. I enjoyed the book. It was a fun read. It was an educational read. And it was a page turner. And it kind of surprised me. I didn't expect that, but it was. It was kind of like uh, Anne Rice meets... Uh, Tom Clancy kind of thing, but uh, I enjoy it. If you want to grab it on Amazon, it's up there. Uh, you can get it on Kindle or you can pick it up at Barnes and Noble. Um, it's a good book. I enjoyed it. I'm not going to tell you too much more because if you're going to buy it, I don't want to ruin it for you, but uh, it's fun. I enjoyed it. If you want a good evening book, um, I would I would give a whack at it. I think you you won't be disappointed. Um, tonight's uh, booze, which I already completed, was uh, my favorite, Blanton's bourbon. And as you can see, the cup is empty because while I was setting everything up, I drank the bourbon. Um, in any case, uh, all of y'all, if you're traveling or making your way around the country or around the world, Godspeed. And to everyone else and to the travelers, be safe, be ready. Pay attention to what's going on. There are a lot of moving parts. Help someone out if you can. But if nothing else, Godspeed on your journeys. I will catch you later. This was a short one because we're between Prepper Nurse One and I think someone else is coming on live here in a little bit. And I want to see what they have to say. You guys be good. Be blessed. And I'm going to try and do a book review on a Wednesday every couple of weeks if I can pull it off. Y'all take care. Roamer out.